everyone. Quite often we grasp things better when it is presented in the form of a graph rather than the data presented in the form of a table. So when it is required to show the relationship between two variables, we can present it in the form of a chart. Here I will quickly explain how to plot a scatter graph and how to format it. The table here shows the population of a city in lakhs from the year 2010 to 2021. Now to plot a scatter graph, you can select the table along with the header and go to the main menu. There you can find the insert, click on insert. You will get various options for recommended charts. Out of this, you can select scatter plot. Click on this. Again, you have various options. So you can go for the first one, scatter plot. Click on that. You will get a basic uh, scatter plot where this title shows the population in lakhs that is in the second column that is dependent variable. The caption used for the dependent variable will be coming as a title of the chart. So you can also select without the header and go for the scatter plot. You will not get chart title. So when you select the table, if you select along with the header, you will be getting the dependent variable header. So you can always edit the chart title. So here uh, I have selected only the contents of the table and I have plotted a scatter graph. Now to format it, you have the option here, a quick access tool. So here, if you click on the plus sign, you will get various options. That is one way of doing it. Otherwise, once you the chart is selected and you can go to the main menu, there you can see chart design. Click on the chart design. You will get uh, options here, different uh, types of charts you can use. If you select any one of that, that will give the different patterns for the chart. And also, you have the quick layout here. Clicking on this, you can get the various layout for the chart. And you have add chart element here. If you click on this, you will get the various options which you have seen here. Now here, I want to add the axis titles. Here the axis is not uh, named. So you can go for axis titles. Click on that, you will get axis title. Now you can type that axis title here. This is a population in lax. Population in lax and the x axis it is uh, year. And you can also change the font size going to the main menu and then you can change the font size to say 12 or 14, then make it bold. Here again, you can select the font size to 12 to make it bold. So you got the axis uh, title. Now chart title you can edit. Click on this, you can population of a city. So uh, population of a city. So you can mention the city name. So here you can go for the trend line. Trend line shows how the data variation takes place and uh, a best fitting curve or straight line you can draw and that line shows the trend of this uh, data, how that uh, data varies. When there are uh, so many uh, points here, it will be so confusing for you to know the exact uh, trend of the values which you are plotting. So in that case, you can uh, click on this trend line, it will show the trend line or if you just uncheck this, it will uh, disappear. So trend line also you have various options. You will you, get more options here. Click on this and go here. You will see all this. And I'll go for first linear. It's a linear, okay. But some of the uh, data deviates from this uh, straight line. This is okay for us. It's almost in a linear variation. Population is linearly varying with the year. But if you go for a polynomial, it uh, gives a better fit. So the deviations is minimum. So I'll go for a polynomial with a degree two. And also you can display the equation on the chart. By selecting this, you are getting the equation displayed on the chart. 
you got the chart now you can also change the size of the chart so this will give a better uh, view so you set the trend line now i'll edit the axis here axis uh, you don't have the major and minor uh, divisions so i can do that by selecting this right click and you can go for format axis so there you get uh, axis options now in this i'll go for tick marks so that is in the uh, axis options i'll go for major uh, tick marks outside so you will be getting a tick marks here major tick marks outside and also minor tick marks outside so you are getting minor tick marks so it's divided into five divisions i want to make this line little dark line and divisions it's not very clearly visible so i'll go for this uh, fill line option here i'll change the color to black okay and even the width of the line i'll increase to 1.5 okay so this is clearly visible and the same thing i'll do for the y axis here i'll click on this data i'll change the color to black and the size 1.5 i'll mark the major and minor tick marks so here major tick marks outside and the minor tick marks again outside so color is not selected black okay now it is uh, clear you can also give the some color to the chart so for that you can right click on the chart area and go for format chart area fill fill you should select solid you can select the color okay or i'll change the color okay now the plot area also you can change the color the right click in the plot area this is chart area uh, chart area and this inside part is a plot area right click here and you can go for uh, this uh, fill solid fill or gradient fill i'll go for a pattern fill various patterns are there you can change the pattern i'll go with this now you got a, a graph and also this this graph starts with the zero so if you want to magnify the the y axis you can start from 80 because the data is starting from 89 if you start this uh, origin at 80 the y axis that will give a better uh, picture of the variation of uh, this data so i'll click on the y axis and then right click format axis here the minimum value i'll change to 80 so then close it now this starts from 80 so you get a better uh, display of this i'll change the equation down this title also will increase font size 16 okay so that is uh, how you plot the scatter graph thank you for watching